Hello everyone, welcome to another Lavelle Claytor's Projects with the Purpose. I was teaching a PowerPoint class and one of the students asked me about animating a smart art, but they wanted to make the gears move. So I want to go over the steps on how to do that. So the first thing we want to do is go to insert and then we're going to go to our illustrations group and click on smart art. And the item that he picked, let me see if I can find it, was uh, the gears. Here, here it is. Okay, now when adding animation to this, um, what's going to happen, we're going to go to our animations tab. And uh, what he wants to do is have the wheel spin. Uh, but the problem is, is that he wanted each one of these to spin individually. So I'm going to do an undo. So the first thing that you have to do is ungroup these shapes. So in order to do that, um, we're going to go to our format contextual tab over to the right to our arrange group. Click the down arrow for group and choose ungroup. And we're going to have to do this twice. So I'm going to click on it again. We're going to go back, go to the arrange group click the down arrow and ungroup. So now that we see all these little resize buttons around them, letting you know that they are now individually ungrouped. I'm gonna click away. So I'm gonna click on the large gear. And once I click on the large gear, I'm gonna go to my animations tab. And in my animations group, I'm gonna click the down arrow for more. And I'm gonna use spin. So, okay, that's perfect. Uh, let me go ahead and close this. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy the animation with the animation painter. I'm going to click on it uh, once and I'm going to click on the next gear. And then I'm going to copy that animation and I'm going to click on the next gear. So now this still, we still need to do a couple extra steps because when I go to preview, it does one gear and then the next gear and then the next gear. So what we want to do is open our animation pane. So that is in our animations tab to the right in our advanced animations. And then we're going to click on animation pane and it's going to open up on the right side of our screen. So I'm going to click on the very first gear. So it just depends on which one you want to start first. So I'm going to start with the largest one. Um, when I click my down arrow, I'm going to do um, start on click and then my second one and see how this changes as I click on the different areas. So when I click my down arrow, I want it to start with the previous and then I'm going to click on the third one and do the same thing. Uh, start with previous. So in other words, we're telling it to all run at the same time. So when I go over here to my preview, See how they're all running? Now they may not be running, you know, the way it would if they were actually gears together, but that would be a longer tutorial. But I at least wanted to get this piece done. Uh, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I truly appreciate it. And I hope you learned something new. Have an amazing day.